studying sucks. time that I'm vlogging on my way to work. I'm usually snapchatting. Um, don't worry, my eyes are on the road. <clears throat> Which by the way, if you want to follow my snapchat shenanigans, here is my username. Um, so I haven't honestly done a lot of photography lately and you can see that in the vlogs because obviously it's been a lot of my family coming by or just me with date night with my husband. And it's just, you know, it's, uh, this past week was vacation Bible school um, at my church, so I didn't really have time for anything. And I actually wasn't feeling well at all yesterday because I think I was just worn down from the previous week and I didn't even go to work. Um, but so, yeah, I haven't done a lot of photography. Um, there is one secret project that I'm working on that I, I can't reveal for sake of the person that I'm doing it for. So that's exciting, and I can always count on that. But it's really frustrating either way because I'm just so used to always having something to do as far as photography goes, and not not having that. Actually, I didn't realize how much part of me really misses it. And so the thing is that after work today, I can't even. I was gonna start doing like this um, self portrait project. And I can't even really do that because I have uh, this test that I have to study for for work that I'm taking in September. And right now it's the end of July. And that sounds like September sounds like it's a long time away, but it's really, really not. And I've already taken the test twice and failed it twice. So I really need to get it done, unfortunately. So I don't know how long it's going to be until like my photography actually takes off here. And that is super frustrating for me. I'm getting gassed, you see that? Um, but, I mean, I, at least I still have the vlogs. And I know that I, it was supposed to be Day of the Life of a Photographer and it hasn't really been about photography lately. But I really do appreciate you guys who are watching either way. There will be a lot of photography soon, I promise. And I'm going to make it a, a point to have at least a project to do, even if it's landscape, even if it's self-portraits, even if it's something that I don't really, even if it's not lifestyle like I usually do. Because it's like photography is kind of like um, working out. So if you don't do it for a while, you kind of lose your edge and you lose your creativity. And I don't want that to happen at all. Um, my camera's been sitting on my desk for about three weeks now and it's just very sad to see it like that so well I have to get gas I have to keep going to work and I'll probably pick this back up uh, in eight hours so see you then As much as I don't like going to work, I actually really, really like my commute. I don't know why lately I've been um, liking driving a lot. I always, I actually consider becoming like a part-time Uber driver just to kind of drive around the city. But I, I work in, in a really nice area and despite me having to stop my commute and go, I, I really just enjoy the view every morning. It's Even when it's raining and whatever, but like, look at this. <laughs> And I'm here. Something about parking garages and car fumes remind me it reminds me of Puerto Rico. I don't mean that in a bad way. It's just a nostalgic smell for me. I don't know. All right, off to work. <laughs> Like, yeah, 
I'm gonna do this and this and this. And then I get home and I'm like, oh, I'm so tired. But I'm gonna do it today. I'm gonna push. Because maybe I think that's been the problem with me lately is I just give in to the I'm tired thing. My phone fell off of its little mount and I couldn't finish my sentence. But I'm gonna get it done. I got stuff to do today. Not necessarily photography stuff, unfortunately, but I do have things to do. And I think if I get these things that I don't wanna do done, it'll make it even easier for when I actually have something relating to photography to do. And uh, yeah. pictures on the wall a lot during uh, during my vlogs and I've never really explained them not that they need explaining but I just figured hey it's photography and I took them so I kind of want to show you each one so this is the New York wall basically I took all three of these in New York this is in Central Park um, I was totally being like an artist and I titled this one one man show because there was this guy standing there so this is digital though all of these are digital so Know that there's a difference between black and white and grayscale. Please don't ever use grayscale when you're changing your, your pictures to black and white. It's horrible, it's muddy, it just, it looks bad, okay? This is also New York, like I said. Um, this is, it, it's actually a stairwell from the, sub, the subway. And I, I, um, I named it Almost Home because I figured it, it, it looked like it could be a stairway to heaven, it could be just literally going home from the subway or whatever it might be. It just gave it a general enough title uh, for that. And then this one is called um, Daniel's Bike. I don't know who Daniel is, but I just thought it was something kind of beautiful that they did for this person that was unfortunately killed, I guess, I'm assuming on this bike. And his family must have done this for him. When I was in college, I took a Hollywood portraiture class, and it was just one class, and also we took like an advanced lighting class, and I fell in love with the noir style of, of portraiture, and I wish I could do more of it. But over there, we had like this 4x5 camera, and, and for those of you who don't know it, what it is, it's basically a film camera that has a 4x5 size negative, and you put the negative in the back, and you have to be in the dark. It's like those cameras that you see people that they put the blanket over and it has those bevels in the front but yeah that camera is awesome so I have a, a Hollywood portraiture wall back here some of these are film and some of these are uh, are digital but basically these are just my friends and my husband and stuff but I'll, I'll go through them hold on so these this one I actually did in school uh, while I was still in school in 2010 this one is film and uh, this was in the style of Greta Garbo, which is why I just named it Greta. This is my friend Yenesis. She was 14 at the time. She is no longer 14. <laughs> this one I also did in school that same year. Uh, this is also film. And fun fact is that this is a crop. Um, I actually took a full body shot of him, but because the film doesn't pixelate and the film is so large, I could enlarge it so, so much so that it looked like all I took was this. Uh, this is my friend Victor. He doesn't look like that anymore. He was 16 at the time, but no. full beard now. <laughs> this one was actually shot in Miami on in Bayside. Sorry for that glare. That glare sucks. Let me see if I can get rid of it. Oh well, whatever. Okay, so it was shot in Bayside at my, in Miami. Um, I wasn't trying to be to do noir there, but there happened to be. This is actually just kind of like a street light. That was hitting her and she really had that classic look going uh, this is my best friend Michelle and of course this is my husband uh, oh and actually this one's digital too this is not film um, this is digital as well um, this is actually in my studio that I had in Jacksonville and I called it Sammy because it kind of reminded me of Sammy Davis but but yeah that's actually my favorite thing to do as far as photography goes but I just don't have the means to do it right now and I don't, it would really be more like a personal work thing because I don't really see the market for it yet. Um, but maybe, I don't know, who knows? Maybe it'll turn into something. So I hope you enjoyed my tour of my art gallery at my house. But remember those things I said I had to do? I have to do them now. So I have to let you guys go, unfortunately. Even though I really wanted this to be like a really cool vlog, 
it will be soon, trust me. I'm gonna get back into the photography thing. We're gonna get back stronger. We're gonna do this better than ever. Yeah.